Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. So I've been thinking about these bird videos and thinking about that there really aren't a lot of birds on them, are there? It's mostly me talking about birds or drawing them. You know, it's really hard to actually get birds on a phone. You know, you have to follow them around or sit around for a long time in the morning waiting for them to not be scared of you. Uh, so you can get up close to them and I just don't have that kind of time, you know, because I'm a mom and I have to do, you know, mom stuff. So there haven't really been many birds on these videos, have there? So this one, Dave and I thought we'd try something a little different and we're going to go out on the road and see if we can find some birds. Okay, come along with us. I'm out on the road today. We came to Waltham. I always like to visit Waltham because it's where I'm from. We thought we'd do a little urban birding. So here we are on Moody Street, right on the Charles River. And because we're on the river, we got us some Canada geese and some ducks. On this one out there. A uh, house fair up there. Look, it's clinging to the side of the parking garage. It's probably eating bugs. I know you probably can't really see, but isn't that neat? You'll always find house sparrows you know, living on a parking garage. So on our little walk by the Charles, we have a pair of mallards just sitting and enjoying the sun. And you see, uh, we got house sparrow and, oh, a starling. Hello, starling. Here along this path near the Charles River Museum of Industry, we see a very handsome grackle. Nice blue iridescent feathers on his neck. Oh, very handsome. The grackles we have here, this is the common grackle. Other parts of the country, they have much bigger grackles with, with much flashier tails, but the common grackle is pretty good too. Very handsome. Got some morning doves, and then a little further on the path, got some robins. A giant squirrel. Up there we have some starlings. See that? A big fat squirrel. Oh my goodness. I did just see a Phoebe. I was really hoping you could too because I really like these canals. We're in Lowell and there's a lot of canals in Lowell. And I was hoping a bird would fly by, but you get to see the canal anyway. Here are all the house sparrows. There's lots. That is one ratty looking squirrel. We got some beautiful mallard ducks and look how purple his head is. That's a sort of odd. Things are usually swimming. So uh, lots of good stuff today. Oh look at look at the ducks. Look at the ducks. See their beautiful iridescent feathers on their heads? Iridescent means it catches the light in funny ways. Like the shine on the So Dave and I were just standing here looking down into the water. I just saw an otter, a tiny little otter in the middle of the city, in the middle of all. You never know what you're seeing, really, you keep your eyes open. Oh, here comes a robin running towards us on this little bird path. Good morning, robin. Actually, afternoon, afternoon, robin. Oh, it's got a bug. It's got something. So, uh, more cedar wax wings such a surprise. It's so fun. It's, their sound is so distinctive. Once you know them, you'll hear them. But Oh, look, look, look. The little woodpecker. Dave, look. Look. You see it? I just went around. It's a little, there it is. Got it? A little downy woodpecker. Got him? On the streets of Lowell, downy woodpecker, cedar wax wings. Super, super hard to see, but around that big smokestack, see those little tiny birds flying? Those are chimney swifts. You'll always see them flying around in towers and stuff, especially like in the evening. Oh, see, also see the starlings flying around. This is an awesome place for birds. Here they go. So, see that tiny little island with the pipe sticking out of it? There's a cormorant on that island. Sort of watching the cormorant kind of swimming downstream, but. Have a decent view to get 
out and say hello. Brackle over there on that uh, kind of branch overhanging the water. Brackles like to be at the water's edge. This is a good one. Of course, it falls away. But it's a good place for grackles. Okay. Some more ducks just hanging out. And look at that grackle. It wants to get down and get a drink. It's just a little too high up. So now we're in the city of Northampton. And we're helping a friend move today. But I'm noticing there's lots of house sparrows chirping all around her apartment building. They're very cheerful, happy little birds. And they're often living and building underneath. A lot of house sparrows up here in this beautiful tree here in Northampton. Look at that little lady house sparrow. She's very hot. Your little, her little bill is open. She wishes there was a, a puddle around and she could get a drink of water. Poor thing. We're on the grounds of the Gore Estate here in Waltham, and we found some chickens. Chickens count as birds. Okay. Dave and I doing a little more walking around Waltham and we were just walking by this parking lot and I heard all these starlings up in this tree so I said let's go see if we can get them and of course they all flew away but it's like this um, mulberry tree and I think it's mulberries and see there's berries all over the ground so oh yeah see now there's lots of birds in this tree because you know we can't really show them to you but if you find a tree with berries it's probably going to be some And we did just see some crows on top of the boys' club. We did, but they're gone. I'd like to actually see Dave, who's been following me around all day and humoring me, looking at birds. And I just thought you'd love to see his awesome mask. Want to say hi, Dave? Hello, children. <laughs> okay, thanks, Dave. So we're back home now, and I was just looking at all the birds we saw. And without even trying very hard, we saw like, I don't know, 15 or maybe even 20 different kinds of birds. And that wasn't even trying at all. It was just walking around and just kind of looking around and there they were. So next time uh, we'll go through them and we'll talk a little more about all the different birds that we saw on our urban bird walk. Okay, bye for now. See ya.